This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. All right, so we're going to do some mixed review problems by finding the trig functions of the special angles. That means either it's on the quadrant. All right, so if it's on the quadrant, remember we're going to remember these values, either 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, or 0, negative 1. So that'll tell you your x and y value in every case. And in all of these, we're gonna, the r is going to be 1. If we're talking about a 45 degree angle, all we have to remember are these values, 1, 1, and square root of 2. Okay. Now remember, we might have a negative 1 or a positive 1. But the r is always square root of 2. And if we have a 30 degree or a 60 degree angle, we're going to remember this triangle. So the smallest side is 1, longest side is 2, and the other leg is square root of 3. So these are what you have to remember to do any of these problems. So this is these are the two special triangles. You need to know those sides very well. The sides are 1, 1, and square root of 2 for the 45 degrees, and for the 30, 60, 90, 1 square root of 3 and 2. All right, so let's try some problems. All right, so what is the cosine of 330 degrees? Well, let's draw where that is. That's almost all the way around the positive direction until I get almost 360. So there's the angle that I want. And then I have to recognize this as a 3060. I could make a little 3060-90 triangle out of this. And what are those lengths? Square root of 3, 1, which I'm going to write as negative 1 since this is going down. That tells me my y value is negative 1. And my r is 2. So to get the cosine, right, the cosine, I don't like that notation. I'm going to write equals. Move this over out of the way. So the cosine equals, all right, it's going to be the x over the r. So it's square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Now, if you want to write that as an ordered pair, you could write that as square root of 3, negative 1. If you wanted to write out the x, y, and r values, you could have written out square root of 3, negative 1, and 2. All right, let's do the next one. What is the tangent of 720 degrees? All right, so what does that look like? Well, 720 degrees, that's 2 times 360. So this means you're going around twice, and you're ending up right here. And so that is a quadrantal, quadrantal angle. And so that order pair is just 1, 0, and r is 1. So x is 1. If you want to write that down, you could write x is 1 and y is 0. And the tangent, how do you get the tangent? It's y over x. So this is 0 over 1 or 0. So here's this problem. Here's that problem. Next one. All right, let's do the cosecant of 5 pi over 4. So we have to find that. If it's easier for you to change that to um, degrees, you can do that. But 5 pi over 4 is over here. And that is the 45 degree angle. Remember to change it to degrees, you just do 5 times 180 divided by 4. OK, so the values here will be, this is really a negative 1 in the x direction and a negative 1 in the y direction, and square root of 2. So you're looking at this. And so if you want to write down those values, you can. Or if you want to write the ordered pair, negative 1, negative 1, that also works. But what is the cosecant? The cosecant 
is it's the um, reciprocal of the sine. So the sine is y over r, so the cosecant will be r over y. So that gives me r square root of 2 over y, which is negative 1. And so my answer is negative square root of 2. Never ever leave a negative 1 or a positive 1 in the denominator. Okay, so you would just say this is a positive divided by a negative, so it's negative. Any number divided by 1 is just the number itself, and here's our answer. All right, let's do the tangent of negative 90 degrees. Okay, all right, so we've got to go over here. Where's that? We're going negative direction 90 degrees, so it's right here. So it's right on the axis. So we'll just use that order pair 0, negative 1. So your x is 0, your y is negative 1. And the radius, or r, is 1. Okay, so how do you get the tangent? So the tangent is y over x. So if you try doing that, you put negative 1 over 0, uh, which is not a number. Okay, so what we would say then, the tangent of negative 90 degrees is undefined. All right, here's our next one. Cotangent of negative 120 degrees. So again, let's draw the picture. Now, where's that going to be? That will be 90 plus 30 more. So it's going over here. So we've got this. Now, what's important is, I don't know if I've mentioned this much, but you're always drawing this little perpendicular line to the x-axis. Okay, so because we want this ordered pair, right, x and y. So let's see, that is the 60 degrees right here. So the this side here is negative 1. The size here is negative 3, and that's 2. And how do you get the cotangent? I think of it as the reciprocal of the tangent. The tangent is y over x, so the cotangent is x over y. So x is negative 1, y is negative square roots of 3. Now, that simplifies. First of all, you're going to a negative over negative is positive, but you could also multiply by square root of 3 over 3 to get the answer of plain old square root of 3 over 3. Sometimes you'll see answers left as 1 over square root of 3, and you have to know that that really is the same thing as square root of 3 over 3. Let's do one more on this video about the cosine of 3 pi over 4. By the way, you don't have to put parentheses. A lot of times I do that just so it's clear what the angle is. But you do when there's a minus sign. You do have to show with minus sign up here at negative 120. You need to put that in parentheses. All right, so where's 3 pi over 4? Well, that's 3 fourths of the way over to pi. So it would be right here. And that's the 45 degree angle here. So that we have a length over here. The uh, x value would be negative 1. The y value is 1. So remember. The numbers I write here are just the same as what the coordinates of the ordered pair would be. All right, so we have 1, 1 squared to 2, but I'm just showing it's negative 1, so I make sure I put the right sign in. And what's the cosine? The cosine is x over r, the x value is negative 1, over r, which is square root of 2. Or you could write that as negative 1 over square root of 2. Oops, sorry. Or you could rationalize it, is what I meant to say. Multiplying the top and bottom by square root of 2 over 2, you have this. And you could just put the minus sign out in front or in the numerator. That's up to you. All right, we'll do uh, a few more problems, just a little bit different, where we have to do the more, one, more than one thing in the same problem um, in part 2. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.